I knew it. That drain stinks. If you have a kitchen or bathroom sink drain that smells like all get out, then you're gonna need to watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to deodorize. Okay, here's the problem. I got a kitchen drain that really smells and uh, it needs to be clean, deodorized. But how do you do that? Well, there's a bunch of different natural methods for doing that. Everything from, believe it or not, Listerine, ice cubes, vinegar and baking soda, Clorox bleach, and your always handy uh, cleaning brushes. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of those and which ones I recommend, which ones I don't. All right, I'm back with the ice cubes. So I'm going to show you how ice cubes can help in a situation where you're having odor coming out of a kitchen sink with a garbage disposal. A lot of times the garbage disposal blades get um, get all gunky and stuff sticks to them and everything but a, just a small cup of ice, even a half cup of ice, pour it down the drain and we're going to turn on the garbage disposal. done let's wash that out a little bit and what's happened is those ice cubes those little shards that are cut up by the blades are actually removing the biofilm the bacteria and sticky stuff that sticks to those blades and cleans them off and sometimes that's where the odor is coming from all right here's natural remedy solution number two um, bottle Listerine, scope, whatever mouthwash you want to use. I personally don't like this method as much. It doesn't work all the time uh, or has a lower rate of working. But one thing you can do to deodorize, the um, is just take a couple capfuls and pour it down your drain. Um, I typically, when I use this approach, I use it in a bathroom sink, not a kitchen sink. But... Really, that's all you have to do is wait about 15 minutes. Third solution is use something like Clorox. Um, basically bleach. Use a non-splash formula so that as you're pouring it in, it doesn't splash onto you because this is pretty harsh stuff. Now, again, this is one that you'll see most on the internet, people using bleach, and I don't recommend it as much, but it is an alternative that you can think about using instead of a plumber. Um, but if you use bleach too much, it can also become caustic and hard on your drain pipe. So I would use this, I would do this very infrequently. Okay, here's my favorite home remedy natural solution. Basically, baking soda and white vinegar with a little boiling water. And the boiling water is going to uh, loosen things as you pour it down the drain. And then the chemical reaction that comes from putting vinegar and baking soda together is going to remove the rest of the debris that's causing any kind of odor. So the first thing you want to do here is take a pot of boiling water and about half of this you want to just pour down the drain. Keep about half in reserve and then we're going to take about a half a cup of baking soda we're going to let that settle for a little bit, but we're going to take about a half a cup, as I said, of this baking soda. And after it's settled down for a little bit, that hot water, we're going to pour this in. And you're going to want to take about the same amount, a half a cup. You can use a whole cup if you want as well, but a half a cup will do usually. You'll see the reaction that happens. And right now that those active ingredients reacting with each other are basically taking what's been loosened from the hot water and allowing that to fall off and clean up all that bacteria and get rid of it. You let that hang for a couple minutes. You basically want to take the rest of the uh, boiled water, boiling water and just pour it down the drain again. 
and there you go. That's the best way. That's the best natural method that we found that works. But there's one more way that's natural, but it takes a little, uh, little muscle. Uh, okay, here's actually the best solution that we look for, and it's basically using these tools. Um, this tool um, you can use to go inside a pipe with a napkin and just clean it out, clean out the drain. And this tool you can use in the same fashion, depending on the size that you need. But what you need to do, and I'm not going to actually open this up for you right now, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. You see the P-trap. This is a P-trap, this U-shaped P-trap. A lot of times there's no water um, that stays in here. There should actually be water at the bottom of this P-trap. And if, it, if you unbolt it, just right here, you can do it manually actually, here and here. You can open it up, make sure you got a bucket underneath because water's gonna come out. Um, and see if it's dry. If it's dry, then just put it back in with some water in it. Uh, put it back in and uh, make sure that it's filled with water. The second thing you have to do is there's going to be biofilm or bacteria and sticky stuff that's inside of that P-trap, you'll notice. If there's a lot of that in there, you want to clean it out. And you use those brushes to just go in there, take off take off the P-trap and just put it in with a napkin, push it through and do it enough times until it looks clean to you. And then afterwards, put it into your sink, just close your sink and fill it with uh, a little vinegar and leave it soaking in the vinegar. And that'll also help clean it as much as possible. All right, so I've shown you five different solutions for deodorizing, sanitizing your kitchen, bath, or laundry drain um, if you have smelly odors coming out of it. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, if the odor isn't coming from just one drain, if it's coming from multiple drains, you may have a problem with your water heater's anode rod. And we have another video we've done on that, so look for that video. Most of the time, if it's in just one, you just have a sanitation kind of problem with uh, bacteria and biofilm making a lot of uh, odorous, smelly stuff come out of the drain. So one of those natural solutions is going to work just fine for you. I particularly like the baking soda vinegar and boiling water solution, as well as the manual cleaning solution. Of course, I would like that one because I'm a plumber. But whichever one you choose, try it see what happens and let me know in the comments below if any of them worked for you and or if they didn't work and maybe we can figure out why this is dino with one tom plumber really enjoy these videos with you let us know what you think like share comment and we'll be back again next week